everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode. And yes, I'm in a little bit of a different space today. I actually have migrated for my quarantine. I'm staying with my parents, so that's why we have a little bit of a change up. But aside from that, today we are going to be reacting to another Say Yes to the Dress. Now you guys have commented on all of the Say Yes to the Dress videos. Oh, please talk about Say Yes to the Dress, Lancashire. Lancashire is so great. Oh my God, Gok, you love Gok. Oh my God, he's so great. He's so wonderful. Oh my God, we love him. We love Gok. So I'm like, all right, fine. You want me to talk about Gok? Gorgeous, let's do it. But this time we're looking at, I'm pretty positive it's called Lancashire, not Lancashire, not Lancashire not Lancashire, Lancashire. Before we get any further into the video though, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, sassy, bitchy, analytical way, this is it, you can go down below, hit the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. I mean like what's you have to lose, you're already here. You're quarantined, you have nothing better to do. And if you guys are looking to see more from me, you can follow me on any of my social medias linked down below. And you can listen to the Fashion Victims Podcast, a podcast that talks about the fashion news and gossip you need to know because we're also recording that in the midst of quarantine. So you know what, we're creating content like it's nobody's business here over at HLM Media LLC. So as you all know, we like doing these Say Yes to the Dress videos. I think they're very upstanding, positive, good contributions to the community. And wedding dresses are a gigantic business. Bridal styles are very important. So yeah, it's very interesting to know, to learn, to see. So we're gonna get into this episode, which is called Self-Conscious Bride Wants a Dress That Covers Her Shoulders. Listen, I understand being self-conscious, but also it's your wedding day. It's all about you. You have to be comfortable. You have to be happy. You have to be the one in control of the situation. I hope that she's not covering up because she's scared of what other people think of her because it's about what she thinks of herself that is most important. All right, let's get this show on the road. Beautiful shot. Not only have we got to find the most perfect gown, we've also got a severe body confidence yeah. issues. So let's. Here's the thing, if, if you did not just see that as Gok Wan, he is a sort of TV personality. He went to school for dramatic arts and was a performer and has had a very interesting life. And he's also very well versed in helping those who might not have the best body positivity. And I think I can say this for myself, I don't even always have the best body positivity. So, you know, it is difficult, I think, as people to sort of be super comfortable with yourself. It takes time, it takes a lot of effort, it takes work to be comfortable in yourself. So it's great that not only is he, you know, a wedding dress expert or a fashion sort of connoisseur, he also is helping people to feel better about themselves, I think, especially on a day like your wedding when, you know, it's the most important thing for you. So, you know, feel good. That's important. So we love that. I'm already into Gawk. I, I want to be his friend. Let's keep it nice and soft. So sleeves, sweetheart. Oh, here we go. Here yeah. she is. All right, let's have a little look. Full of coverage. Yeah. Probably be a good length on her, actually. So I think tick, 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 tick. How are you feeling? Nervous. There she is. She's cute. I like her. So, my darling, let's get you out of that gown and into this gown. What is her name? Who is she? I need to know. I need a little bit of an intro. What's going on here? I need to, you know, understand it so I can emote with her. Gox just walked in with the first dress. It's full lace, princess style. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually more worried that I'm gonna come out um, feeling even less confident. And I don't think I dare open my eyes at this moment. One, two, three. From what I'm seeing before her initial reaction, from what I've heard, from what I've read, I'm not a wedding expert. I will never, you know, say I'm a wedding expert because I don't really, you know, delve too deeply into the wedding dress lifestyle. But from what I've heard, a lot of people do say, listen, you know, sleeves definitely can age you. A lot of people use sleeves as a way to sort of take attention away from their arms, but unfortunately sometimes it actually attracts a lot of attention to their arms, so it sort of defeats the purpose. Here, I don't love how it fits underneath the breasts. I feel like I can see a sort of puckering there, which is not super chic. We don't love that. 
Now, also at the same time, you know, it is a sample dress and that is going to happen. It's very difficult to get a dress that fits you perfectly because everybody has different proportions, especially with wedding dresses. It's all types of bodies. So don't get too worried about that yet, myself included. I do actually like the lace on her. I like that the lace is sheer enough. You know, it's a little bit of white. There's, you know, I can see the differentiation around the neck, but it's not that big of a deal. And when you're far away, as she's walking up the aisle, you'd never even really see that. But I do actually think that little white lace looks really, really nice on her. I don't think it ages her a lot. I actually think, you know, right on the left, the left arm, the way that the lace sort of spreads out right at the elbow, I think is really, really beautiful. And I think as long as the sleeves fit you perfectly, because they really have to fit absolutely perfectly to pull off the illusion, it's always gonna look pretty decent as long as the lace is nice. Do I love the bling belt? No, I do not love the bling belt. I'm not a big bling person. I think the dress should enhance your, your waist, your figure naturally. But you know what? Let's see, maybe she'll say I hate the bling belt. I don't know, but I wanna see her reaction as well. Oh my God. I love the sleeves. I don't think I've ever worn anything where I go, I look nice. <gasps> okay, it's very nice full. So it was nice when you saw it sort of from, you know, the hips up, but full dress, it looks really nice. I think the lace, especially far away, because now you can see it far away. It looks beautiful. You can't see that line where it sort of starts. I like the little back buttons. I think they're very, very chic. They're not too all over the place. And the thing is, if you're gonna wear a dress like this, I think it's important that the lace needs to be the main focus. The lace needs to be where everybody's eye is drawn. Because if you have too many bells and whistles, you're gonna look like your wedding cake and you don't wanna look like your wedding cake unless you're wearing one of those Moschino dresses where you look like a wedding cake, in which case you do wanna look like a wedding cake, which if there was a Say Yes to the Dress episode like that, I, I would be into that. I think I, I, think I look nice. <laughs> so you need to celebrate it. Yes. I'm just about to show my friends and family this dress. I'm really worried that if they say anything negative, it might set me back. It's extremely nerve wracking waiting for that first dress to come out. Feeling quite sick, fearing that I might hate this dress. So, we're gonna start with you, Mama. My mum can be. Everybody needs to be polite and kind and nice. Make it nice. Quite outspoken. She does always tell me her brutal, honest truth. You can tell by her face a lot of the time. I think for me, the thing is the lace across the top. As I'm looking at it, it looks wishy-washy. Uh, uh, mother, enough, enough out of you. It looks gorgeous. She looks stunning. She looks fantastic. If there is an issue with the dress, that is not the issue, mommy dearest. It's not for her and I have to tell her about the lace. I have to tell her if it's not the one for her. Girls, what are we thinking? I like the shape. I'm not keen on the pattern. Okay, I agree there. I don't really love the lace on the actual dress. I love it on the sleeves. I think it's really, really beautiful. I'm not obsessed with the lace on the dress, but I think everybody should be a little bit more positive because she looks gorgeous here. Like, it's not like, oh my God, this is a terrible, disgusting, awful dress. Maybe it's not the one, but I think we all need to be positive and give our pros as well as our cons. The lace again. Yeah, oh, it's, really? I think it's too big. It's all on the sleeves, all the way down to the bottom. It's, it's just like a big tablecloth. I am shocked. Girls, what do you think? So I like it, but I don't love it. And I think <laughs> my issue is also the lace. In my head, I've always had lace, and we've got three people saying no to lace. I'm loving the lace. <laughs> Bye. I like her, whoever she is, I'm a fan. In LA. Oh yeah, I like her, she's cute, I'm into her, I stand. Ella, coming to my rescue. It looks perfect on you, it really suits your body. I think I just needed to hear somebody say that it looked good. Listen, all of it is good to hear. At the end of the day, any design is always going to be subjective. But we should take those comments on board and we should have a little play now. So come on, come with me. 
listen, she is not the most body positive person in the entire world. I think I would have liked to hear a little bit more encouragement. Like, oh, this is this is nice. Maybe it's not the one, but this is nice. Because listen, if the dress is not awful, you don't want to say, hmm, I don't like anything about it. The lace is awful. Looks like a tablecloth. No, listen, you want to be positive. You want to be uplifting. You want to be kind. This is a wedding dress. It's different than the dress that you buy from Forever 21 or from, you know, Dolce, no, you don't buy a dress from Dolce & Gabbana, uh, or, you know, whoever, Chanel. It, it's a wedding dress. It's very important to somebody. It's the one time they're gonna wear this real big, beautiful, gorgeous dress and might get passed down for generations. So we gotta be a little bit careful. We gotta step on eggshells here. And you know me, I'm not one to say step on an eggshell. Better to say it now as well in front of just us far rather than the whole wedding party yeah. on the day. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. I think she's feeling the pressure. She looks very anxious. This dress is so elegant. It's white. It's amazing. But it doesn't have sleeves. What's going through your head? Okay. Uh, listen, I'm not like totally mad at this. Do I think it's the dress? Absolutely not. No way for her. I think that lace dress before was gorgeous and I love that she wanted sleeves. I like that style for her. I think that's very chic. Here, this is very princess. I like the tri strap. I think that's a cute little addition. I don't love the draping on the bodice. I don't think that's very chic and I don't think it's very chic in any sort of way. And I especially hate that as you get to the waist, it falls straight into this full sort of skirt and there's no draping. Like there's no continuation of the drape. And I think that's where that throws me off. Cause it's like a top and a skirt and it's different. It's, it's like playing separates and I don't want to play separates with a wedding dress. I think it's just a little bit more skin on show. Yeah. I'm just getting a little bit nervous. I'm really not sure whether I can quite pluck up the courage to wear something without sleeves right now. Got a lot more skin on show. I don't think I was expecting the amount of mirrors that were going to be there. You can see yourself in every angle. You ready? The other thing is I, I know she's body conscious and that sucks because she's gorgeous. Literally, I'm looking at the freckles on her like torso and shoulders and arms. She's gorgeous. She's a beautiful figure. She's she's lovely. And especially from this angle. Oh my God, the waist cinched to the gods. We love. I, I'm here for it. I love that. It's reminded me of how I took all the mirrors out of my house. One. I didn't want to see my body. I didn't have them in the bathroom or anything. Two. Three. Wow. My God. <laughs> I can't believe that. Like my... That silhouette is gorgeous on her. I think it creates a beautiful shape on her. I wish that the bodice hadn't been draped. That's my one issue because you really can see a difference between the two of them, but I think it's a beautiful shape on her. I think that beautiful gigantic A-line is stunning on her. She looks like a gorgeous princess. I think the tri strap is beautiful. I really, I'm happy for her. I think this is a beautiful moment. Silhouette is really mad. It's, you. <laughs> it's lovely. I want to see Nikki in a, a dress that pulls out her figure, accentuates her waistline, makes the most of her bust and her shoulders. She looks like a bride here. She has got a really good figure and I, I just want her to be able to see that. I try. And she's wearing a shoe. Note that. Note that. She's wearing a shoe. To be supportive and tell her that she's lovely and we're all so proud of her. such a bride from that aerial viewpoint. This is beautifully shot. I do have to say, I think they do a much better job than the regular New York say yes to the dress and especially the Georgia say yes to the dress. Um, I think this is beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's stunning. Like she looks like a bride. Oh, don't like that waist belt. What is with the bling belt? We didn't need the bling belt whatsoever. Nowhere do we ask for it. Nowhere did we need it. Nowhere did we want it. We do not want the bling belt. Take the bling belt home. Cause she looked stunning without it. Okay, you're taking lots of deep breaths there. I think it's the open shoulders. Yeah. Um, I think I'm still kind of trying to get used to seeing that a little yeah. bit. Oh. Um, from 
she looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. I'm like this, oh, making me happy. I'm here down, I'm sold. I absolutely love the bottom of this dress. I think it's yeah. absolutely amazing. Um, the waist bit, I'm like, yeah, look at the waist. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, what are we thinking? I don't think I could criticise it, to be honest. Yeah, wow. Mum. Got, she got you. She got you. She said, look at this dress. Wow. That's I like, like a 10 it. out of 10. It is. I, I, I love it. I think her shoulders look amazing. Oh, Aww. yes. It takes my breath away. Aww. It's beautiful. The only Karen that I've ever liked in my life is this Karen. She's stunning. She's wonderful. She's so supportive of her daughter. I love it. My mum definitely loves this dress but there's just that little bit of me with the confidence that's just not there. <gasps> Girls? I like it, strangely. I'm waiting for a butt. <laughs> you don't look as confident in that as the last one. The whole body language is totally different. Which I think, you know, comes from being shocked at the fact that she looks gorgeous in that, you know, exposed shoulder, and I think that, in reality, is actually amazing that everybody is saying to her, oh my God, you're beautiful, you look stunning, this is amazing. And she's the person that unfortunately does not feel as great. And I think, which is maybe we need a gawk intervention to say, listen, honey, you look fantastic. You look stunning, you look gorgeous, you look amazing. We need that. We need somebody to say, listen, you look great. Carry yourself. Because listen, as much as a dress is a dress, as much as a dress is important, it's about how you carry yourself. If you don't carry yourself with confidence, the dress isn't gonna look great because you don't feel great, which means you don't look great. You need to be as confident as possible. You know what I mean? You have to sell the mother garment. Sell the garment, okay? And I can see it. She's hiding herself around the veil. She's, she's not happy. What's this dress? I need to see like this dress. Oh my, okay, say yes to the dress. I can walk down the aisle in this dress and not be worried that everyone's looking at me. So then, Nikki, tell us what you can see. Okay, okay, all right. There's something else going on here. I do like the sleeves. I think they look nice. And I like that the sleeves don't cover up everything. You know what I mean? There's still some breast. There's still a little bit of shoulder exposed, but from what I can see from this vantage point, I'm not super duper mad at the sleeves. The bodice is a bit too like glitter princess for me. I'm not totally into that. And I do think that other dress actually cinched her fantastically and created a beautiful shape on her. But I'm not super mad at the skirt of this dress. It's very flowy. It has a lot of texture. It is quite good. I don't like that they put the veil on every single dress. It, it, it affects my viewpoint. Cause every time I'm like, oh, there she's the bride. And it's like, no, I think when you say yes to the dress, then you put the veil on and it's a big moment and it's gorgeous and it's stunning and we love it. But I think with the veil on, it's like, oh, okay, okay. It gives you more options. But not obsessed with the bodice, love the sleeves, love the skirt, hate the bling waist. Why do we, why do we gotta do that? I do not understand. Tell us what you can say. Uh... I love everything about it. I feel really confident. Ooh, the lace, that beautiful floral pattern is stunning. I think it's better than the first dress, far better. It's so delicate, it's so detailed looking, and I can see the detail in it from far away, which I love as well. I feel like I could quite easily walk through smiling at this. I just love it, I think it's amazing. <laughs> I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I felt like I, I was just a new woman. Okay, let's find out what the guys think. Nailed it. <laughs> Aww. Karen, you make me blush. Nailed it. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I thought the other dresses were nice, but that knocks them out of the ballpark. Aww. Oh my God, uh, enough, Karen, you're making me depressed. Beautiful. Oh, you okay? Aww. You okay? Aww, aww, stop. Do you want mum to give you a big hug? No, don't do Go that, we'll both start. <laughs> <laughs> you only had to look at her face to know that she'd found what she was looking for. 
Oh, the team. Crying, we're going home. No, it's done. <laughs> I can hear everyone crying. <laughs> um, and I'm really, if all four are crying, then this is definitely the dress. Who's the designer and what's the price? So the designer is Stella York and the price is £1,199. Oh. <gasps> oh my God, I didn't hear the budget. They didn't tell me what the budget was, which is disappointing because I always like to know a budget. It's important. But she looks stunning. I'm really happy for her. I assume this is the dress she's going to pick. So we'll see. Big reveal. <laughs> so you can afford it. You look beautiful. It leaves me a very, very important question to ask you. Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying hell yes to the dress. <gasps> Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, that's nice. I'm very happy for her. Good for her. Love that for her. Still don't even know her name. Don't know her name what, at all. I know Karen, the mom. So let's, let's just run through these dresses once more. So the first dress, I liked the sleeve, but I think the lace was a bit mm, uh, old. I do think it looked really beautiful on her from afar. And I like that, you know, she was taking on a sleeve and it wasn't exactly an ugly, gross, sad, depressing sleeve. And I think it actually highlighted her really, really beautifully. The rest of the dress, eh. Second dress. Now, I think this was good for her because I think in reality it really pushed her. I think it pushed her to actually look at herself and say, you're beautiful, you're stunning, you're gorgeous. We're gonna need you to bat those bad opinions about yourself away because you have beautiful shoulders, you have beautiful arms, you have gorgeous freckles all over your body, which I'm obsessed with. And, you know, I thought the fit of it was beautiful until they put that ugly little bling waist belt on it, which I don't know why they do that, but they must do it. I, yeah. But I think the silhouette of that second dress was also so beautiful. Did I love the drape? No, but I could have dealt with the drape for her. The third dress, in reality, I thought the lace was stunning. And I think the fit of it, the bodice looked nice. I think it was a little bit too much for me personally. I think sequin glitter bodice a bit much. And the flowy skirt was nice, but with the waist belt, it's like, oh God. But I actually think the sleeves were gorgeous on it. I think the sleeves really were the show stoppers of the dress. I think the way they came in showed a little bit of shoulder, showed a little bit of cleavage, but also then covered up what you wanted to cover up. And you know, I thought the, the lace looked very high quality as well. It wasn't some shitty, itsy bitsy, gross, disgusting, nasty lace that was like tea dyed and sad and like old lady maiden. So that was good too. All in all, I'm happy for her. I think she picked a beautiful dress and she seemed very happy and confident in that dress. And I think that's in reality, the most important thing about choosing a wedding dress. So please let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I'd love to hear all of your opinions on all of the dresses. What do you think? Please tell me which one would you have chosen? I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. You're welcome for doing this Lancashire episode. Hi, Gok. Love you. See you in the next video and TTYL.